Hi and welcome back to our maths videos. This week we are thinking about shape. We're going to do a little bit of recapping and perhaps a little bit of deeper thinking about shape. So today our focus is on recapping triangle because I know Miss Mitchell um, has done a little bit of work on that before and reading the story of square which is a fantastic story. Just don't forget that on our YouTube maths channel there is also some videos made by the fantastic Mr Woodhouse that uh, Mrs Knight referred to in this week's daily update. So you can always uh, drop back and have a little look at those. So we have already read Triangle, which if you haven't had a chance to watch it, it's on our YouTube videos. And this is the story of Triangle, if you can remember. And the way we talk about how do we know that this is a triangle? A good way to try is to count the sides. So let's have a go at counting the sides. One, two, three. There are three sides and these are called corners. There should be three. So let's check. One, two, three. A triangle has three sides and three corners. This story is super fun and he does meet triangle, does meet his friend square. So we're going to learn about square story today, but I thought we'd do a quick recap on this so that we can remember. Square by Mac Barnett and John Classen. This is square. This is Square's secret cave. Look at the shape of Square's door. Hmm. Every day, Square goes down into his cave and takes a block from the pile below the ground. He pushes the block up and out of the cave. He brings the block to the pile at the top of the hill. That looks like it's super tricky. This is his work. One day, while Square was doing his work, Circle floated by. There's a circle. Square, said Circle, you are a genius. I did not know that you were a sculptor. Oh, yes, said Square. Uh, what is a sculptor? A sculptor shapes blocks into art, said Circle. Ah, oh, yes, said Square. I see what you mean. But he did not really see what she meant. Do you know what the word sculptor is? I think we might find out. Have a little think what you think she might mean. This is a wonderful sculpture, said Circle. It looks just like you. It does look a bit like square. Let's see if we can count the sides. One, two, three, four. And let's count uh, square sides. One, two, three, four. They both have four sides. And look, they're all the same size. It must be a square. Square looked at his block. Yes, I suppose it is wonderful. Now, said Circle, you must do one of me. Oh, said Square. I will come back for it tomorrow. Goodbye, genius. Circle, said Square, I think I should tell you something. Hmm, that's a funny word, genius. I wonder what that means. I think it means when you are really amazingly clever at something. But she was already gone. Oh dear, oh dear, said Square. He studied the block. I have to make this block look like a circle, he said. Circle is perfect, so I must make this perfect. He's feeling a bit worried. Square got to work shaping the block. Oh, crumbs, said Square. This is not perfect. Oh, dirt, said Square. This is much worse. And he went back to work. He worked and worked and worked 
and watch, look what's happening to the square block. Oh, look at Square's face. Do you think he may have realised what's happened? Ah, cried Square. I have carved the whole block away. There was nothing left. He was surrounded by rubble. Whatever is the opposite of perfect, that is what this is. I must stay up all night and figure this out. Oh dear. Lopsy daisy. I don't think he's staying up. He looks like he's doing something else. Square fell asleep. Uh -oh. The next morning, Square woke up wet. He despaired. What have I done? I push blocks. I do not shape them. I am not a genius. Hello, genius, said Circle. I'm early. Oh dear, whispered Square. Are you finished? asked Circle. Uh, oh yes, yes, said Square. I am finished. Circle peered down. Oh my, she said. What's she doing? She's looking into something. I wonder what she's looking into. What can she see? It was beautiful. It was beguiling. It is perfect, said Circle. Hmm. It is? asked Square. Yes, said Circle. I wonder what she's doing. You are a genius, said Circle. But was he really? Have a little look. What is Square now doing? He's checking something. So I wonder what Circle was looking at. Did she get confused? I'm going to let you have a think about how this story ended and if you can decide what happened. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story all about the square. When we talk about shape with the children, we try and talk about not just naming each shape, but talk about the properties of the shape. So um, like we've done throughout, counting how many sides, counting how many corners. And the other thing that you can look at is what sort of sides does it have? So using language like curved or straight. Um, so whenever you encounter shapes, uh, specifically squares and triangles at this, at this point, try and just get the children involved in some conversations about the properties of that shape. Can it roll? If it's got curved sides, maybe it can. If it's got straight sides, hmm, maybe it can't, we're not sure. Maybe we have to do some experimenting to try and find out. So today, as a little challenge, we thought it might be really fun to do an activity where you can move about. And what can you find in your house that is a square or a triangle? If you find something that is a square or a triangle, can you talk about it with your grown-up? And can you show us by taking a picture and putting it on tapestry? You might even want to draw your shape or write down a word of what it is. It could be anything. You might want to describe its properties. We'd love to see that. So we thought we'd start it nice and simple by doing just square and triangles. Um, and if you do spot a different shape that you know, you can talk about that as well. But today we'll focus on those two shapes. Have fun with that and we'll see you tomorrow. See Bye. You tomorrow. Bye.